your home for the Kentucky Wildcats. This is 27 Sports First. In the coming season, Rich Brooks hopes to have the best running attack he's had in six years at Kentucky. It will be a group of talented backs, all with experience. Among them, Alfonso Smith. Alfonso Smith exploded in April's blue-white game. On the opening series, he ran for almost 50 yards, finished the day with 170. Well, the spring game uh, meant that um, I think that I'm maturing and, uh, you know, Former Wildcats Sean Woods is now a head coach. He's accepted the job as basketball coach at Mississippi Valley State. Woods served two years at TCU as director of basketball operations and as an assistant. Prior to that one, he spent a season at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Woods takes over for James Green, who left earlier to become the new coach at Jacksonville State in Alabama. Ex-Wildcat Colin Calgill is off to a fast start in the pros. He's been named Northwest Player of the Week. Calgill, a fifth round pick of the Arizona Diamondbacks, is playing for the Yakima Bears on the West Coast. In his first six games, he hit 292 with three home runs and nine RBI. Calgill's former teammate Sawyer Carroll is also off to a fast start. Carroll's ranked second in the Northwest League with a 414 average. Carroll is playing for the Eugene Emeralds. At Wimbledon, defending champion Venus Williams scraped through a tight first set and then pulled away for a 7-6, 6-1 victory over British teenager Naomi Cavaday. Venus is bidding for a fifth Wimbledon title. It took a while for her to find her game, playing her first grass court match of the season. Also advancing second-seeded Rafael Nadal, who won over German qualifier Andreas Beck in straight sets. Andy Roddick and Maria Sharapova also advanced. <laughs> Your home for the Moorhead State Eagles, this is News Center Sports. Before traveling to San Diego over fall break, the Eagle football team hosted Davidson University at Jane Stadium. News Center Sports was there. Looking to keep their 2-0 home record intact, the Eagles opened Pioneer Football League play at home against the Davidson Wildcats, where they put up a strong showing on the defensive side of the ball. Well, preseason practices for the Moorhead State men's basketball team starts tomorrow. Joining us now from Johnson Arena is the 2008 OVC Coach of the Year, Donnie Tindall. Coach, I know you're a busy man, but thanks for joining us. Hey, no problem, Mackenzie. Glad to do it. Well, how anxious are you and your team to hit the hardwood? Well, we're excited. I think our kids are, are glad to finally have preseason conditioning behind them. We worked extremely hard this fall. The kids are in good shape. They've worked very, very hard in the weight room. Some guys have increased their bench press, their squat uh, max. So we're heading in the right direction and really looking forward to getting the floor on Friday and getting this thing kicked off. Now your squad loses Jemiron Stewart and point guard Nicholas Stoyakovic, but at the same time you bring back some other guards and added a few more as well. Well we have. This is our most talented group of guards, one through six or seven. Certainly it'll be tough to replace Jemiron who was our best perimeter defender and Nick who made our team go and, and made everybody better. But we're excited about the new guys, in particular Robert Murray and Terrence Hill have been very good in the preseason. A couple guys that have made dramatic jumps from last season this season have been Monte Harper and John Lamb so with experience and strength those two guys are much improved and the new guys will add some nice dimensions as well. All right coach one last question and we'll let you go. The conference predicted NSU to finish fourth in the regular season and named senior Leon Buchanan and sophomore Kenneth Faree to the preseason all-conference squad. Did the conference get it right in your opinion? Well, you know, I think that's a legitimate pick where we're, we're being picked. You know, last year we finished third, but we lost Nick, who was so important to our team, and so people understand the loss that that will be to our program and this season's team. And then Murray State, they return eight of their top ten. UT Martin returns Lester Hudson, who was player of the year in the league, freshman of the year in the league, Marcus Weddle. So they're very, very talented. And then Austin P returns only two starters on paper, but two other guys that were basically their sixth and seventh man. Uh, you know, I think fourth is about the right pick for us. I do feel like our team will be competitive enough to make a run at the championship this season. The biggest thing, as we've talked about, will be how DeMonte Harper or a couple of these new guards replace Nicola. All right, thanks, Coach. In his first two seasons at MSU, Coach Tyndall compiled a 27-32 record and has made the OVC tournament in both seasons.